Hey, what's up, guys? Rookie OTR Trucker, right back at you with another video. Um, I told you guys a while ago that I was going to upload a video showing y'all uh, about a tandem stopper, how it works, and my experience with it. So here, here we go. This is a part or a piece of a tandem stopper. Okay, if you guys know what it looks like, um, there's another piece just like this on the opposite end on the opposite end of this okay and they're different they're um different in diameter for different uh hole sizes okay y'all just bear with me i'm about to step out the truck and show y'all something it's probably gonna get a little loud so excuse me for the noise change so before i get out the truck i'm gonna just tell y'all this while y'all can still hear me okay the holes that your uh tandem stopper go in they tell you to put it they tell you to put the tandem stopper in from this side however my experience was a bad one because obviously this is broke but you got to do what works for you so i learned that to put putting it in from this side works better give me a second Okay, y'all see these holes, right? So, they tell you to put the tandem stopper in from this side, okay? They tell you to put the tandem stopper in from that side. Me, my experience works best when I put it in from this side, guys. Not the inside. No. I put it in from this side. I put it in from this side. And this is why. Okay. Like I told you, there's a like a uh this 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 uh rod or whatever is like it's usually normally like another two or three inches long with this same exact piece on the other end. So you got two of those, two of these, one on this end and one on the opposite end. And my experience, it, it, the, the, whoever made this, the design is horrible. Okay, so look, when I put it, when I, I, I put it on like this, as you, can, as you can see, it doesn't even fit tight. Like it's, it's not in there snug enough, it's loose. It's very loose so if you can see that just picture another two or three inches of aluminum steel metal or whatever sticking out further that way with a with another circle piece on the end right so what happens is when you release these pins and slide your tandems That comes forward, so it'll crunch up against this and put pressure on it. And uh, when you're sitting inside your truck, you're not gonna feel you're not gonna feel all that heavy weight knocking up uh, knocking up against that small thing very much. You're not gonna feel it very much. So you'll slightly feel it, but not very much. So you just kind of gotta guess when it's stopping because this isn't really sturdy enough to stop a 80,000 pound vehicle you understand so the slightest bump that you may feel you have to stop jump out your truck come back and get out and look so with that being said it had been like my second or third time using it so when I finally jumped out the truck to go you know look at the tandem stopper it hadn't stopped where it was supposed to the, the the trailer kept moving and it it wedged this in between the hole and the the sliding mechanism 
so it was stuck and I could I couldn't move my trailer at all I couldn't try to I couldn't move it forward or backward to try to get it out I don't know how I got it out I just I think I just kept rocking it back and forth back and forth I got a hammer I think I got a hammer and hit it out but I have no idea where the other half went I have no idea where the other half went maybe it just pried out popped out really strong and flew across the parking lot but um I I ended up giving switching that trailer with somebody. I did a relay. So it's very possible that this other half of this tandem stopper is caught up, hung up somewhere in the bottom of that trailer. You know, it could possibly have uh, ruptured one of the air hoses in the airlines or caught up somewhere near an airbag or a tire. And, and it's dangerous, man. I still have no, to this day, I have no idea what the other half of the tandem stopper is or how, how it even got from wedged in between the hole and the, the sliding mechanism. I have no idea, guys. So if y'all don't see this one, y'all ain't really comfortable with it, get the other kind of tandem stopper. They have them on uh, eBay or um, Amazon. But yeah, I paid $35 for this thing and I used it two times. The first two times I used it, I didn't have any problems with it. The third time I used it, look at it, it broke on me. So I'm still keeping on holding on to this half, but I'm just inserting it from the outside. From the outside. That way, I don't have to worry about this rod getting caught up in that hole. You understand, guys? So I hope that video made sense to you guys. I hope you were able to process or understand what I was saying. I try to get... Uh, as detailed as I can in my explanation of these things, but maybe I need to sit down and do some rough drafting before I get on camera and start, you know. But I'm just giving it to y'all blood around, man, cutthroat, you know what I'm saying? What I go through, exactly how I go through it, and excuse me if I don't have the best, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Punctuality? Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If I'm not so precise in how I speak, you know, y'all you know I'm from the hood, I'm from the project, so I got that little slang in. I'm from South Florida, man, Brown County 954, so you feel me? I try to get to y'all best way I can, but you know, it is what it is. Thank y'all for watching and supporting. Y'all be safe out there on that road, man.